surpass. Surpass. Dial up the main challenge. Dial up the main challenge. Hinge on. Hinge on. Stakes are high. Stakes are high. Big name. Big name. Okay, let, let's dive in. We're looking at your sources today. It honestly sounds like something straight out of science fiction, but while the sources suggest, it's becoming very real very fast. So as we explore this, I'm thinking, what exactly is ASI? How is it genuinely different from the AI we interact with daily? And why are some of the biggest names in technology, you know, betting their entire companies on it? Crucially, what could this this intelligence explosion mean for you, for me, for all of us? Yeah, it's easy to get uh, kind of caught up in all the buzz around current AI tools, isn't it? But these materials you shared, uh, they really highlight that what we have now, things like chatbots or these amazing deep learning models, they're still pretty specialized. ASI, as described here, isn't just a bit smarter. It's, well, a complete paradigm shift. We're talking about an intelligence that could improve itself recursively, could fundamentally change what progress even looks like. Okay, so if the AI we have now is narrow, good at specific things, mm -hmm. where does ASI fit? Is it just like the next software update or is it something bigger? Oh, it's definitely bigger. A whole different level. Think of it like this. Current AI, like your chat GPT example, or AlphaFold predicting protein structures, that's ANI. Artificial narrow intelligence. Good at one thing. Right. The next theoretical jump is AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. That would be an AI that could do pretty much any intellectual task a human can. Okay. But ASI, your sources define it as an intelligence that actually surpasses human smarts across the board. We're talking yeah. creativity, uh, emotional intelligence, complex strategy, scientific breakthroughs, stuff way beyond any single human mind or even all of us combined. It's this idea of an intelligence explosion gets smarter then uses that intelligence to get even smarter, faster, and faster, potentially beyond what we can even, you know, fully grasp. And you highlighted Sam Altman's perspective from the sources he runs OpenAI. Mm. He's pretty insistent that things like ChatGPT or their video generator soar, they aren't ASI. <sighs> Why is that distinction so important? Well, he makes it clear, doesn't he? These tools, however impressive, they don't learn continuously on their own. They aren't discovering genuinely new science autonomously. They don't self-evolve or set their own grand goals in the way ASI is conceived. They're incredibly powerful tools, yeah. absolutely, but not independent, self-creating minds. So it's not just about the capability. It's about the, the potential for self-driven growth, mm -hmm. which leads to the big question. Why should we, listening right now, really pay attention to something that still feels a bit out there. Because the sources really hammer home the sheer acceleration ASI could trigger. It's not just about solving today's problems faster, things like climate change or disease. It's the potential to compress maybe centuries of scientific progress into just years. Mm -hmm. Imagine designing technologies we can't even conceive of now, or uh, maybe enabling totally new ways to organize society, better governance maybe. But that speed, that power, it also massively dials up the main challenge making sure this intelligence, if it arrives, actually aligns with human values and safety. It's maybe the hardest problem we've ever faced, as your sources suggest. And it's not just thinkers pondering this. Your sources point to major tech leaders placing huge bets. You mentioned Altman, there's Elon Musk with XAI, Masayoshi's son at SoftBank, son's quote was striking calling ASI the greatest revolution in human history. He's apparently convinced SoftBank's whole future hinges on it, maybe seeing it arrive within the next few decades. Yeah, the conviction is incredible. It's not just idle talk. The sources paint a picture of a global race, hmm. not just for market share, but for shaping the future itself. It, it seems driven by this deep belief that ASI is the key to, well, almost everything. So stepping back and looking at this global race, this potential, mm -hmm. what's the main feeling from your sources? Is ASI presented more as this incredible dream or a potential threat? I think the sources frame it very much as both. You have the dream, curing disease, maybe ending poverty, unlocking knowledge we can't imagine. But then there's the stark reality, the potential threat, if it's not developed safely, if it doesn't share our core values. The one thing that comes through loud and clear from what you shared is, this isn't seen as science fiction anymore. It's viewed as a tangible goal, and the stakes in this race 
feel immense. So boiling it down, ASI seems to represent this future of just unparalleled opportunity, but it comes packaged with some truly profound challenges and questions. Absolutely. And given that sense of a global race your materials describe, it really makes you wonder, how should we as humanity actually prepare for an intelligence that might operate beyond our own current understanding? That is definitely a thought to chew on. Thank you for digging into those sources and exploring this with us today.